Welcome to We Are Libertarians. I am your host, Chris Spangle. We Are Libertarians brings you all of the irreverence modern politics deserves. Think of us as the love child of the National Review and Mad Magazine. We explain to you what the hell is happening in our world today and how we can fix it by thinking differently. Please be sure to rate and review us on iTunes, like us on Facebook, share this episode with friends, and support us through PayPal or Patreon at wearelibertarians.com. We are supported by listeners like you, so $1 per episode by pledging $5 a month help, uh, helps us grow. We are always taking your questions and comments via email at editor at wearelibertarians.com. If you are new to the program, we catch up for the first 20 minutes or so and then deep dive into analyzing current events and society from a libertarian perspective. This show is for adults by semi-adults, so please be warned, the language is strong and offensive. Joined, uh, I'm joined by my valiant co-host, fresh off of his successful interview with Abdul Hakim Shabazz. Is successful a bit strong? I, uh, I, I, w I was interested to hear what you thought, if it went over okay. Uh, you did great. Did okay? Yeah, everybody else, not, not good. Really? Abdul did fine, as as he'll, he will tell you. He's fantastic. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, so if you are listening uh, to this now, Indianapolis, check out uh, Greg on uh, WIBC at 2 p.m. on Saturday. Yeah, discussion um, on social media and the effect it's had on society. Yep. And uh, also with us is Kat. Kat, how are you doing? Hello. I'm doing well, thank you. Uh, it's so nice to have you here. Uh, the other cat is joining us. Mittens just jumped on the table. and uh, Mittens is banned from last episode. Promptly showing her asshole to the cameras as she does every episode. Uh, speaking of assholes, my, uh, <laughs> my little buddy, uh, Jeff Vibbert, is here. Jeff, how are you? I'm doing great, Smangle. Thanks for having me back on. I'm surprised that you would lower yourself to our level of show business now that you're on such a big plane. Hey, for the common man, by the common man. <laughs> Jeff, of course, left uh, the day job and now is working at Barstool Heartland and does a great daily video series called uh, Things You Saw? Pissed. What is it? Things You Pissed. <laughs> That's it. That's it, Cat. Blood. Yeah. <laughs> Things You Was Pissed. Was the water running? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. Things You Missed. Yeah. So uh, how do people follow you if they want to watch that? Uh, at the Jeff Vibbert, or you can go to the Barstool Heartland Twitter, Barstool Heartland Facebook. Find it there. Monday, Wednesday, Friday, 7 a.m. Uh, now, Kat, everybody follow at Kat and Agnos while we're getting plugs in. You make sure to right, get yours in right. right now, right? Yes. Yeah, Thank so you. She's she's very, uh, she loves attention. Yep. And if then go follow at the Jeff Vibber. If you're watching the video, then you can see Kat playing with her hair. She's constantly. I don't know. Grooming. Weird. It, it's very fun to have uh, her around, but she's very particular about her looks. Yes. Of course. Shallow. So am I. Right. Also, uh, of, of you know, very handsome, uh, Jeff Fibbert. You're looking, you're looking good. You're looking swole these days. I think I'm just gaining weight. You're getting <laughs> all right. I was being nice. You're getting a little fat. That's fat shaming. Chelsea, yeah, that's Chelsea, fat shaming, Chelsea dude. Clinton does not approve. <laughs> you just spiced him. I thought this was a libertarian podcast, and you're fat shaming me. Yeah, of course. I wish my cat would stop fucking with my microphone. Get out of here. The cameras picked that up. Uh, well, you just threw your cat. Call, call Peta. <laughs> yeah. So she's she's caused so much problems. Yeah. Last night we've been waiting in secret. Uh, the Republicans finally revealed their health care bill. They've been crafting this in secret. I didn't think that they were very far along, and I thought they were still kind of doing some deal-making with this, but it seemed like they had it had it written, and they were just kind of springing it on us, and then they're going to vote on it next week and try and f cram this through and then do reconciliation, which if you remember the slaughter rule and all that stuff, that's how the Democrats got Obamacare passed. It's really um, the only way to do anything... <laughs> it's the only way to govern really anymore. We're we're really in a we're really in a uh stagflation type government where nothing is happening. It takes you know, the everything they've tried to make everything budget related because it's the only way you can do reconciliation is pass it through the budget like the regular budgetary process. So like the parts that are affected by this aren't a lot of the regulations in those parts. Yeah. So uh give us some of the details. We're we didn't have time to really dive deep into this, so we're just going to give you some uh, talking points so you understand what is in it, uh, and then we'll have a little bit uh, more fleshed out next episode. But yeah, and it's one of those things, you know, over the course of the week, there's going to be some adjustments. There, pff, yeah. Uh, the, they, they need two. Two can defect from the Republican side, and then they have the tiebreaker and Mike Pence, but they now have four who say... They're not going to vote for it in its current form, right? And the, 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 the holdouts Paul. are, are you know, 
as expected, it's Rand, you know, Ted Cruz, Susan Collins with the Planned Parenthood, um, or the removal of funding for the Planned right. Parenthood. And I forget who the other one was, but um, really what it does is so the plan uh, gives subsidies to illegal immigrants so long as they're working in the United States. The subsidies are based on 350% of the federal poverty level, not 400%, so that's a slight reduction. It gets rid of the uh, businesses and co- businesses have to offer health insurance or pay a penalty and the, the indiv- uh, individual mandate. So you, if you don't have it, you don't aren't forced to buy it. Um, and then it changes the uh, demand that if you get a qualified plan that you have to provide abortion, so all plans have to cover abortion. Um, unless it's in this, uh, including this podcast, <laughs> yeah. Unless it's to save the life of the mother, um, and then each state will get fifteen or ten to fifteen billion for uh, just in a block grant to cover uh, uncovered individuals that go to the emergency room to right. help offset that cost. The Cadillac tax on uh, really nice union plans is gone. Um, the medical device tax is gone. The HSA penalty is gone. Uh, prescription tax is gone. Let's see. Business owners can deduct Part D expense again. Um, you can deduct medical expenses. Let's see. Up to seven and a half percent of your income, or ten percent of gross adjusted. Tanning tax is gone. Net- tanning tax. Yeah, there's a tanning tax. What? Wait, that was it's part gone. Of Obamacare. It's gone <gasps> under this. We can start. Do you know r- how expensive that was? Oh, I had I an ex of mine. The reason she became a libertarian was because of the tanning tax. Shut it's up. ridiculous. Literally, what instigated? No, it was so expensive. Oh, what so. was the tanning tax? What do you? It was uh, added on to the bulbs. Pay for, Are you paying for the bulbs? I don't no, remember you pay. How much it was it an was. addition. It's like a gas tax. It was added or like on, on whatever it was. Cigarettes or whatever. Yeah. I don't remember how much it was, but I remember thinking like this is a ridiculous. It was amount. a good three dollars to four dollars per tanning. Suntan City has that cool thumb scanner, <laughs> and their their tans never run out. You can. If you buy five, you can use them whenever. I could go back right now and use my tans. I still have like four. Silly. <laughs> Sorry. I forgot your libertarians don't like humor. So it's <laughs> true. Now that it's Especially humor, it's just this dumb. But yeah. We're just, you know, we think that those words could be misconstrued <laughs> in order to encourage people to get melanoma. I just love And we don't want the legal liability, and so Jeff needs to go to jail and suppress his speech. I just yeah. love how <laughs> excited Kat was about the tan tax. No. I'm telling you, that was the one that moved the needle for like so many people. That's why I am so pale, is because like you can only go outside so much. <laughs> <laughs> Said the human animal. So the, yeah, because you're you're playing your video games. You yeah, because I'm outside. You're in there with your Minecraft all day. Right, right, right. <laughs> Sorry, continue with the. the oh bill. no, I mean I don't. I mean I'm just. It, it's gonna. It's gonna be adjusted because the pre-existing conditions. That's st- that's st- Trump made that promise. That has to stay. Uh, Medicaid expansion, where the states every time they enrolled more people in Medicaid, they got like. The majority of it was paid for by the federal government, and then in time the cost sharing changed. That's been um, that's been a li- or changed. The rollback begins in 2020, and so now it's not they're not encouraged. It's not going to be uh, matched in the same way. Um, the intr- like what it does is it allow it re- uh, bans you from charge like so you used to not be able to charge someone 52 differently than someone uh, 25 for the same policy. That is no longer the case. Now they're allowed to charge up to five times more because those individuals use more services. Mm. Um, so it, what's, what it does is it lets the insurer adequately adequately price the actual cost of insuring an individual rather than spreading it across a big pool uh, in order to it, – what it does is it, it raises or lowers it for the sick and raises it for the healthy. This allows them to accurately reflect reflect the cost of insuring someone. Interesting. Yeah, which people hate because if you're older, all of a sudden you have to actually pay because it's not really insurance. Like, if you have diabetes, it's not like maybe not or maybe not you'll have diabetes next month. Like you're going to need the same treatment. <laughs> right. This isn't. It'd be like saying we're going to, you know, you can't charge someone who gets in wrecks all the times because they got in a wreck that's just not right not uh, according to keto bittner <laughs> bittner is actually in here they are not allowing any insurance company to insure bittner <laughs> and doing p- so is a treasonous act punishable by death <laughs> almost as bad as mispronouncing somebody or mis Gen- misgendering, misgendering. Okay. and we may be misgendering bittner so what you're saying is bittner is a pre-existing condition like, <laughs> he is like but they, they do have to cover being bittnered so if you <laughs> if you have the bittner or bitneritis then you um they Wait, do have to insure you is so 
cancer is a pre-existing condition? Is that yes, yes, yes. It is. Now the thing is, though, <laughs> each insurance company will have new leeway on how to remove the the, the cancerous, the metastasized bitner. Okay. Stage four bitner <laughs> is going to be very I it was expensive. Itchy bitner syndrome. Itchy bitner syndrome, <laughs> IBS, right. is very prevalent. Oh, I can't get out of bed. I got bitner. <laughs> yeah. Imagine having bit bitroids. Where oh. they, <laughs> they are these or bout S- bitner gout. Irritable <laughs> bitner syndrome. Sorry, my, bitner gout. My bitner is inflamed. <laughs> Yeah, I have inflamed Bittner. <laughs> no. uh. I have type 2 Bittner. <laughs> Nobody thinks this is funny except for us. I know. And I don't even care. The views of the live stream are just down. <laughs> we're evol- I know we're getting tired because we're in that territory where <laughs> Spangled thinks mocking bit- cyber audio cyberbullying Bittner is funny. He's never going to hear it. Well, it's I don't funny. know. This is on YouTube, so it's cyberbullying. video, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> See that? I know how to plug it. But if you, you have losing. if you have bitneritis, you can still get health insurance. Won't you donate two dollars today to help someone who suffers from bitner? <laughs> you get a nice uh, blanket. <laughs> no, what? you've never seen those commercials. <laughs> yeah, with the little guy in the khaki pants. And the <laughs> button up. It's like he oh died. god, my mom and I do this impression. He died. Yeah, gout. <laughs> <laughs> with the child. Uh, Loving care blanket. You'll help a child like me in need. <laughs> and so much more. St. Jude Research Child Hospital for Kids. Anything else on the health care yeah. laws? Um, I think it will ultimately pass elements that will, th- can, through reconciliation, and I support it. This is an. This is like I, was, I said in chat earlier. Trying to do pass anything that meets all the demands <laughs> that are being put on this is like. It's like getting a you know finding a unicorn. It isn't going to yeah. happen. So this this is a good step though. I think it makes it isn't perfect. It doesn't replace Obamacare, and I mean it does replace Obamacare, and it's a phased out setting, and it gives a lot of the authority back to the governors who have uh, you know if you're a Democrat if your state elects a Democratic governor and you want the benefits of the existing, you have that option to you. Or if you're like in a Republican state. They're going to have the author- more uh, autonomy to deliver, you know, health insurance. So it's kind of, it's the idea, you know, it, gi- it gives it flexibility, which is rare for legislation. Right. 